Hey folks, uh, we are here with lesson 5.2, which is using the evolution tool to explain human skin pigmentation. Uh, we're going to focus solely on the worksheet uh, here. So you want to have this or uh, uh, set something up like it in your notebook uh, or on a scrap piece of paper. Um, like the previous evolution tool in lesson 2.2, we have two ecologies. We have a high UV environment and a low UV environment. There's going to be four, four columns that you're going to fill in. Uh, the ecology is filled in for you, uh, and these are the factors that affect survival and reproduction. So in the high UV environment, we have skin production of vitamin D when expo exposed to the uh, sun, to UV radiation. And then folate is destroyed by UV radiation. So both of these are uh, things that we learned in 5.1 that have uh, an immediate impact on a person's health and well-being. For the variations, uh, we are looking at, again, these uh, uh, genotype, phenotype variations. We have a lighter skin pigmentation, a medium skin pigmentation, and then a darker skin pigmentation. The part that you're going to fill in for the graphic, uh, for the organizer here, is the interaction between these two columns, between ecology and between variation. This is going to be see, uh, what changes have occurred in these populations or traits. So what is happening with lighter skin pigmentation in a UV environment in relationship to vitamin D synthesis and folate protection? What is happening for medium skin pigmentation? Um, and then what is happening for darker skin pigmentation? When we're looking at gene pool frequency, we have this occurring over time. Um, and time one is the parent generation. We start off with a 50-50, so there's 50% lighter, 50% darker. For time two and three, you're going to do an approximation. We don't have a data table that has generated numbers for you. Uh, so you're going to do an approximation. Think about is there going to be more or less what, um, uh, of a particular variation that you'll see. You're going to repeat that same process here for the uh, low UV environment. Uh, so this is going to be when we looked at our globes, uh, our map uh, uh, in 5.1. Those are going to be in the northern uh, territories uh, uh, or the northern areas that you're going to see, like Canada, Alaska, uh, et cetera, uh, northern Europe, uh, uh, parts of Russia. Okay, so. Um, the ecology is the same, the variations are the same, but the interactions are going to be dependent on this low UV light uh, environment. Uh, for the gene pool frequency, we have our 50-50 uh, that we start off with time one uh, for lighter skin versus darker skin. Uh, again, you are going to show in time two and time three uh, kind of a prediction of what that would look like uh, over the generations. Finally, when you do get to your explanation, this is the written portion, you're taking the information from that front side and you're essentially putting it into words. Uh, the variation, what are the differences uh, that are among individuals in the population? Uh, that is this information right here. The ecology, these are the factors that affect survival and reproduction of individuals in the population. That's this information right here. And then finally, the interaction that is between the variation and the ecology, uh, the, the changes that have occurred over time. So essentially, you're incorporating this information that you're going to write in here uh, with this over here uh, to create a, a fuller gapless explanation. Uh, so hopefully this helped explain how to use this particular tool to explain the evolution of human skin pigmentation as it's changed over time. Uh, if you have any questions, please reach out to your teacher or to your peers to work through it. Uh, and thank you so much for your time and attention.